most watched video on this YouTube channel is about SCADA system and I got many people asking about that why don't you make another video about SCADA system an updated version of that so here we go in this video we are going to talk about what is SCADA we will address two different possibilities of SCADA implementation first we would start with what is SCADA some people think of it it's a software some people say it, it's a hardware i say it's a collection of both software and hardware and that's the real definition of it system comprised of hardware and software component and it's used to monitor and control industrial processes it's called SCADA system now we would talk about how we can actually use SCADA system in a factory centered environment here is a process you have you can see the process and you need to have an instrumentation to control a process and that instrumentation is connected to either a PLC or it can be an RTU here also if you are going to send it remotely and even in a local factory centered environment you can replace this PLC with an RTU I would be shortly addressing difference between PLC and RTU but let's talk about here in the factory centered environment you have a S7300 PLC and that is connected to some sort of your you know equipment down the layer and then you have all the information whatever you gather into that PLC and then you have another PLC that is also connected to some process and there are a few instrumentation that are connected there and that is you know this, this PLC is gathering all the information now you can add these two PLC into a SCADA system SCADA will do what? SCADA normally comprises of engineering workstation where you have a software to program a SCADA screens and also you need to if you need to write a you know scripts for a specific processes you can definitely do that we will address this in detail in coming session how to write a script then you might have an OPC server OPC server is going to help you to connect to third-party devices it's an easy way to do that so then you have historians historians are there to store the historical data you might need to see some process variable four years back historian will store that information and you can see it printer to print up any trend and any other you know screens or mimics then you have OS operator stations where operators are sitting and visualizing information that is coming from the process so these are all operator stations so this is the typical normal uh, easiest implementation implementation of a SCADA system when you talk about different SCADA providers you would name Siemens like WinCC Professional this is one of the SCADA software Wonderware Intouch this is also one of the famous SCADA software and when you talk about Cytec this is also one of the exciting and easy to understand software from the SCADA system this is the scenario which is very easy where you are getting the information on a SCADA system within the factory centered environment now let's talk about a scenario where you are trying to gather the information not from the local factory centered environment you might have a well hat where you are gathering the information from that well, well hat and that's far away maybe you know thousands kilometer away from your master control room where you have a SCADA software a master control room that consists of MTU I would address that also what is MTU and how it works first of all in that kind of a scenario you would have a field instrumentation placed there and then you would have an RTU instead of a PLC you would be having an RTU and very important thing to know that instead of RTU some PLCs can actually work as an RTU that depends okay that depends how actually what is an RTU first of all RTU is remote terminal unit remote terminal unit its, its main job is to gather the information from like different instrumentation there are two possibilities of RTU RTU can be intelligent it can be non-intelligent RTU that can be programmed to control some specific process is intelligent RTU non-intelligent RTU is just is a device that gather the information only and send it on via any communication medium to a master control room where you have MTU you where you have a SCADA software you have historian and all that
In this example, we have a very simple well heading example. We have a well head example here. So there are field instruments that are placed there. Field instruments are actually measuring different process parameters from the field. And these all instruments are connected to RTU. RTU normally is equipped with you know, solar panel batteries and it has ESD panel also, emergency shutdown panel. And then this RTU is connected to radio uh, RTU. And then that radio RTU is connected to radio TAR. This is a Yagi antenna normally, and you are sending that data via radio. So the art of sending the data from remote side, this is a remote side, far away from your main master control room. So you are collecting the information from here, and now by using radio waves, you are sending that data far away from that location to any other, like for to, to your master control room. So now you have a communication link here, you can see UHF link here. So then at the receiver end, you have Omni antenna. So that Omni antenna, a radio tower is connected to master radio and that is connected to modem to convert it into, you know, ethernet. And then this is connected to MTU, master terminal unit. And then you have a typical arrangement. What you see here, you have engineering workstation, OPC server, historians, and you have operator screen similar way here also. And it is quite possible. This is uh, one of the site that you see, we are gathering this information from a remote location. It is quite possible. There are few instruments that are connected directly to that SCADA system. You see, it's a factory centered instrument down here. So these are all connected through a PLC to that system. So now if your PLC have ability to connect to any, you know, or send the data remotely, in that scenario, your PLC can act as an RTU. You understand my point? Because PLC's job is to control. It's specialized for that. But when you talk about RTU, RTU job is specialized to send required data and control in a remote environment. RTU is made for harsh environments, more harsh environments, even harsh than a PLC can actually take care. So apart from it, RTU's job is specialized for that role. It is going to collect the information, somehow it controls some, in some of the cases, if it is an intelligent RTU, but PLC can act as an RTU if it have or some way around to send the data. So if you can connect your PLC to, you know, like any R any transmission medium, we would talk about what are the possibilities for the communication also. So uh, the communication links, what are different communication possibilities? Like how you can transmit the data from a remote location to uh, your control room. One way option is a phone line, a lease line. Second option is a radio. Third is cellular network. You can use satellite. You can also use mm -hmm. fiber optic. You can also use fiber optic. Mm -hmm. So. Typically, a SCADA system is collecting the process information through instruments. I own the processes, I own the processes instrumentation, and then it is collecting that information, that, and then this instrumentation is connected to PLC or DCS. And PLC uh, or DCS is actually a brain of, brain of a process industry. In some of the cases, it's connected directly to RTU also. Instrumentation is connected to RTU. And in some of the cases, even you can use your DCS data, you can connect that data from OPC to your uh, SCADA screen. It's quite possible. You could integrate your DCS system with your SCADA system. It's quite possible. So RTU in then RDU is there. RDU's job is to collect the information from remote site. Then you have a telemetry. Telemetry is what? art of sending the data from remote location to your master control room. So this communication thing, whatever happened here, this is done by a telemetry engineer. And this is again one of the different, this is again one of the separate field that exist. So uh, then we have a SCADA MTU. SCADA MTU is master terminal unit. It's a kind of a server that collects the information from all RTUs. For example, if you have three sites, 
and you are gathering the data from these three sites by using MTU. So MTU would be a collection point from all the sites. So if you talk about SCADA system, there should be four things that should come in your mind state forward. One is data acquisition. Data acquisition is collecting the information like process variables, temperature flow, level, temp these all like current, speed, these all, you know, process variable, you are collecting that information. That is the data communication, transferring data to a central site, the art of sending it, right? Then you have a data presentation, HMI screens, where you are displaying this data on number of operator screens. This is what we call a data presentation. The big screens that you see on the SCADA system, these are actually data, pre that, that actually comes into a data presentation layer. Then you have a control, carry out the necessary analysis and control. This is done in a control. So there are four things that, you know, that are very important when you talk about the SCADA system. SCADA applications, where is actually SCADA used? SCADA is used in energy sector, it is used in food and beverages, in, it is used in oil and gas, it is used in transportation, it is used in electrical grids. So just to summarize whatever we talk about, first is instrumentation, then you can have RTU, you can have a PLC, you can have even DCS here, then there is a telemetry in between where you are actually communicating through radio, cellular, satellite, fiber, whatever option you get it from RTU, PLC, a DCS to MTU. There's an art, art of sending that or transmitting that data is called telemetry. The communication part is telemetry. Then there is an MTU and that is also connected to HMI where you have visualization of all process parameters what are coming from the field. Then you have engineering workstation where you program actually SCADA system. Then you have historian to store historical data. So when we talk about the protocols and standard, which are very important, you should understand Modbus, you should understand IEC 60870, you should understand DNP3 protocol, and there are many other protocols you should learn, but these three are very important. We do train people online on PLC, SCADA and DCS, if you guys are really interested. You can reach us on our WhatsApp number that's provided into the description of the, this video. To know about, to know more about the course content and everything, you can also visit our website onlineplc.org. And that's pretty much it for today. If you want me to continue that training series on Scala, I can take it as an opportunity and I can train you one over in touch. If you guys are interested, comment down there. If this video hits thousand likes in a month then i would definitely make a complete series on wonderware in tech scale thanks for watching till next video take care and allah hafiz